Alright, Shalom, Shalom. Alright, as always, before I begin this video, I'm gonna go ahead and face the east and give infinite honor and praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakat Kudash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well and honest to you brothers who are bringing out this word in sincerity and in faith. Alright, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakat Kudash, rock a thumb. Okay? To you sincere, you, you hopeful elect, man. Alright? Double honors to the elder apostles of the great millstone, man. Who do well and teach well and taught me this truth, man. So, through the spirit out here again in wicked ass, wicked ass Babylon the Great. Alright, and this place has got to go. This place has got to go. Alright, over the past uh, hour, you know, sometimes you, you start to think about this place and it just pisses you off, man. This place, this place pisses you off, all right, but we, we're going to get into Isaiah chapter 58, all right, as a starting point, all right, that was my starting, that was my starting point, and, uh, you know, just go, go, you know, roll, roll through the spirit from there, man, all right, this place, this place is fucking wicked, and this place is going to get destroyed, man, all right, So starting off, all right, in the book of Isaiah chapter um, 58, it talks about, you know, crying aloud and sparing not. So us being out here, man, is the ultimate representation of crying aloud and sparing not. We're not going to spare you damn people, man. We're not going to spare your feelings. That's why we're out here. Okay? And hey. Hey, who doesn't want us out here? The so-called white men. And you other nations and two-thirds of Israel, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, we out here. Okay? We out here. It's different brothers all over the world, okay, preaching the doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. And why is that? Because we've been set up to do that, man. Okay? In the midst, in the midst of these people. Alright? So, uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. So fuck the rest of you people. Alright? Fuck the rest of you people. Okay? You other nations, you don't matter. Alright, and right now, we're getting on the so-called white man. You goddamn devil. Okay? You piece of shit. Say you've been you've been set up to rule, man. But the, what the Lord is doing, He's taking away your power. And part of part of you getting your power taken away is us being out here on the highways and byways, and you not being able to do anything to us yet. Now there's gonna come a time where they're gonna be able to uh, uh, to do things to us, man. Okay, it's gonna be some hard it's gonna be some horrible things that are done to the men of the Lord. Yet through the Spirit. These are the things that have to take place, man. All right, including this damn devil being in a, in a uh, uh, in his predicament, man. Him being him being the the um the top man of the earth, man. That's the Lord. The Lord set that up ultimately to push Jake down, to push Israel down, man. All right. Anyways, and it says. Yeah, they seek me daily and to not and delight to know my ways as a nation. They did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their power. They ask of me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. Real name Yahweh. So you see the people they'll come up and they'll say, Oh, we want to please the Lord. This is how you please the Lord. Alright? These these people are gonna die. And they they don't see it, okay? Because you want to please the Lord by you wanna please the Lord by what? Uh, uh giving out money? All right, you wanna please you wanna please the Lord in every way besides being out here on the highways and byways. Okay, and the Lord, and the Lord is gonna kill you niggas, man. The Lord is gonna kill you niggas. Every every scop, every scoffing nigga, all right. Every two thirds nigga, the Lord is going to kill you, all right. So get, we just pray that we're not of that number. Shit. You know you got these.
people walking around. What, what are you doing? Especially Jake. Jake, what the fuck are you doing out here, man? You wasting, you wasting your time. You wasting, you wasting your time with these damn people. Look at these people. Right? You're around these other nations. These other nations are degenerates. All right, they're, dege they're degenerates. They're disgusting. All right, the spirit got me getting on Moab right now. Moab, you eat, you eat fucking rat, monkey brains. You want to be in league with somebody like that, man? You know, and that's why Mo Moab and this through the spirit. But when when this economy shuts down, Mo Moab is going to be one of the number one nations uh, 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 cannibalizing people. Now, of course, all the, uh, you know. All, all the nations are going to be going at each other. You know, the two-thirds are going to be attacking the other nations. The other nations are going to be attacking the one-thirds, you know, and so on and so forth. But through the spirit, Mo Moab already has that nasty spirit. So he's not going to mind, uh, you know, doing that. He's not going to mind being a cannibal, man. All right? Anyways, and it says, Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast ye find pleasure, and exact all your labors. Behold, ye fast for strife and debate, and to smite with the fist of wickedness. Ye shall not fast as ye do this day, to make your voice to be heard on high. Yeah, man. All right, so all you high and mighty, uh, uh, noble individuals, you want to call yourselves? You people, uh, uh, you people in the, in the modern day church, all these other people, man, you, your ass, you're not going to be able to present yourself as this high and mighty individual, all right, in these days to come. Unless you got the Lord with you, you're going to die. That's it. That's it and that's all. That's the long and skinny of it. If you don't have the Heavenly Father on your side, you're going to die. You're going to perish. It is, it, is, it is what it is, man. All right, and these, and these people, ultimately, they don't care. They don't care about the Lord, right? They don't care about his words. And that's why the Lord is justified in killing you. The Lord is justified in killing us, man. You know, his servants. Because he he is he is what is righteous. He's what's right. Alright? It says in the scriptures that our righteousness is as filthy rags, man. So by us getting him hemmed up in these different situations, us going through all these different things. This is a testimony. This is the Lord saying, well, look, look at what I'm doing to you. Are you going to come back to me? Are you going, are you going to seek me? Are you going to continue to distance yourself away from me, man? All right? And it says, verse 5, Is it such a fast that I have chosen a day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Would thou call this a fast? And an acceptable day to the Lord. I right, bow, bow down your head as a bull rush. Hey, in which you, uh, you other nations, and Jake, that's in the modern day church, you like the bull rush. That's the first thing you want to come up to us saying, "Is this the word of God?" Well, before you come to us asking us, "Is this the word of God?" What you preaching? What message are you spreading? What are you telling the people? Because it seems like what you're spreading is. Uh, uh, so-called white superiority, right? Modern day, modern day Christianism is, is so-called white superiority. And prove me wrong. Go in, go in, the, go in the scriptures and, and point out a scripture that says the Lord loves everybody, especially the so-called white man, or that the so-called white man is going to be set up, right? And that he's going to stay in power. You're not going to find that. What you're going to find is that this devil was set up for a certain amount of time, and now he's plummeting. Now he's plummeting. Now he's finding himself in the case in which you got people out here on the highways and byways, specifically the men of the Lord, preaching your downfall. So now you're looking real stupid. Okay? You think we look stupid? This is the foolishness of preaching. This is going to look ridiculous to you. But for us, it's not ridiculous. This is what we do. This is what we're doing. This is what we are going to do, man. Alright? And Lord's will, you brothers endure to the end, man. Lord's will, I endure to the end. You know, because there's plenty of people to fall out of this too. All right? Yet through the Spirit, you know, we, we pray that we don't fall out, man. We don't want to fall out. All right? We don't want, we don't want the Lord uh, 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 to, 
to, to, to do away with us, you know? Like he did at one point. At one point, he wasn't dealing with Israel, man. Israel was still his people, but he wasn't dealing with us in a, uh, on a level like that to give us the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding. All right? He said, fuck them. Okay? And he still feels that way about two-thirds of Israel. Yet, yeah, ironically, in their mind, two-thirds of Israel think they got the key, which they don't, man. All right? And it says... Verse 6, is not this the fast I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, that ye may break every yoke? It is not to deal thy bread to the hungry, so I can, is it, is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house, when thou seest the naked, thou shalt cover them. So we tell them, we tell them. Hey, spiritually you naked right now. You need to get spiritually you need to get a garment on. Or else you're gonna freeze in this cold winter. And that's why these people are dying out here. They are spiritually naked. They're spiritually homeless. See when you don't have when you don't have uh, 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 things to protect you from the elements, you're gonna be subject to the elements. You're gonna be subject to the rain, to the hail, sleet, snow. You're gonna be subject to these things, man. Right? Unless you do what? You 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 get a garment. You get a house, right? And the Lord provides these things, man. First, you have to admit that you need them. All right, when you, when you uh, speaking about you uh, Israelite women, when you go and you go uh, to a program like Section 8 and these different things, what's the first thing that you do? All right, you speak on your income. You speak about what you got, what you don't got, all right, and what you need, okay, in assessment. And that's what we have to do. We have to assess the situation that we're in. Because, Jake, you're not in a good situation. You can argue all day if you want to, but you're not in a good situation. All right? Yet, yeah, you, you want to uh, you wanna mob around here and act like you're spiritually rich. That's not happening, man. All right? You got illusions of, of, of grandeur, as they call it. It says, verse 8, Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily. So this has happened quickly. Us being out here on the highways and byways, starting off with the Elder Apostles of Great Millstone, right? That's, that was speedily. When they heard this word, what were they doing? Right? They studied up, they trained themselves up, right? Through teachers, they were out on the highways and byways. Now flash forward to the year 2020, the year 2021, in which you have the most men on the highways and byways in sincerity than you've had before, man. The Lord is making this thing grow, man. This thing is this thing is not going anywhere. Alright? This thing is not dying out. This thing is, is growing more and more and more. Alright? So you got hey man, so you guys, you know, that may have fell out, man. You need to pray that the Lord have mercy upon you. Alright? That's all you can do. Alright? It's men, it's men that have been called into this truth, right? That may have fell down, right? But you can, you can be picked back up. You know, the Lord ain't back just yet. His hand is, is, is stretched out still. Like it speaks in the book of uh, uh, Isaiah, Salah. But, but mo most of you, most of you who turn, you know, turn your back on the Lord, the Lord is going to kill you, for the most part. But there are certain individuals that the Lord is, is, is going to deal with, you know? It's different guys in these different camps, in these different groups, right, that turn their back on the doctrine of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, They're going to come into a certain understanding, and they're going to come to the conclusion, okay, uh, uh, starting off with uh, the elder apostles of Great Millstone, they have the truth, okay? And this is this is not a Great Millstone thing. This is the Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, thing. But what group is Yahweh Shem Shai dealing with for the most part? Great Millstone and the brothers that come up under the teachings of Great Millstone. Brothers like me, man. Alright? That's all we know. Salah. The Spirit just hit me to say that. But that's all we know. All we know is the name Yahweh Shem Shai. We don't know those other names. We don't know Ahaya. We don't know Yahweh. We don't know all that bullshit. All those other names are bullshit. 
we know Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Right? It says, verse 8, it's locked Well, that's the spirit. Let me read that again. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning. Woo! So we've been illuminated. Right? These people are in darkness. What does it say in the scriptures? That they, they grope as in, uh, uh, they grope uh, in, in noonday uh, uh, as if it was darkness, roughly paraphrasing. So these people are spiritually blind out here. It says, all right, continuing on, the glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. So it is a, is a, is a big boot, is a big booty chick in a nice house gonna be your reward? Is a big pile of money gonna be your reward? All right? Is the Israelite uh, uh, award show? Is that gonna be your reward? No, man. It's the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. That's your reward. And if you don't accept that as your reward, then guess what your reward is gonna be? It's gonna be death. All right? That's not, that's not something that we want to go through. We don't want to die a, a, a horrific death because we didn't want to pay attention uh, to the scriptures. Because we didn't want to pay attention to the men uh, uh, that were set up, man. You know? We want to take heed to the words of Yahweh Shemiah Shai through the men, right, that are, teach, that are teaching the words of Yahweh Shemiah Shai. We're not just going to go up to some random guy, you know, and, and, and learn from him, man. We have to learn from specific teachers, man. Teachers that the Heavenly Father is working with expressly. Right? What does the scripture say? It says speedily, not slowly. You know, the Lord is slowly going to start working. No. Speedily. Alright? The 60s was, was a very recent time. I wasn't alive during the 60s. But that was a very recent time in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, man. You know? That's what, 60 years ago, all right? From the year 1960, 2021, that's roughly 61 years, man. So that's not a lot, that's not really, you know, it's not a lot of time. You have people that are 80 years old right now that were, you know, 19, 20 years old, all right, in the 60s, okay? So that's, that's recent, that's a recent time. The Lord has sped this thing up. He sped up the understanding. He sped up the knowledge, man. And, and he sped up the uh, uh, he sped up the number of men. The number of men that are being produced with this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is skyrocketing, man. Like when you have a stock that begins to uh, skyrocket, it happens very speedily. You know, to the point where, you know, now you have people investing, investing. Yet you should have invested in this long ago when you first heard about it man like you got bitcoin people who invested in bitcoin when it first you know came about all right they have a little bit of money in their pocket yeah so you're supposed to you know in, in the business world they say uh uh buy the rumor and sell the news man so right now we're buying the rumor we're buying the rumor. We, hey we we heard it's gonna be world war three we heard it's a chip on the way. We heard that there's famine out here coming. We heard it's gonna be pestilence. We heard it's gonna be starvation. All right? So we bought that up. We bought that up. We took everything we had and laid that on the line. All right? And said, okay, we need, to, we need to learn from the men, the true men of the Lord. So now it's the time in which we're about to start selling the news. All right? about to start selling the news through the spirit hey because when, when the lord comes man all hell is going to break loose man. all hell is going to break loose when the heavenly father's son returns and it's not it's not going to be a good time man. all right so it says oh that's the spirit that's the spirit it's about to speak on what i was just talking about in verse 10 but i'm going to go to verse 9 the next verse then shalt thou call and the lord shall answer Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity. So yeah, before you start talking shit about us and pointing the finger, you need to look at yourself. We're analyzing ourselves. 
Why? Because we're, we're constantly getting chastised by the Lord, all right, through our elders, man. Different elder apostles, different elder bishops, different, you know, different elder, elder priests, elder brothers, and, you know, big, big, elder big brothers, brothers, you know, getting that understanding, man. By being reprimanded, okay? This, this is supposed to be a, um, a constructive criticism, all right? This book is constructive criticism, all right? Well, what do you do when you construct something? You build it. This is supposed to build you up, but in order for you to be built up, you have to be torn down, man, all right? It says, let me read that again. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, yeah, the bondage of this world, right? Oh, I got, I got to go to my daughter. I can't go to camp. I got to go to my daughter's violin recital, man. That's part of that yoke, right? You doing all these, you doing all these different things, right? Besides being in the in, in, in the spirit, man. That's 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 being chained up, right? We're free through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. We're not free through these people. These people desire, desire to put chains on us, physically, mentally, spiritually. They desire to put chains upon us, man. So that's part of the, that's part of breaking free from the, from the so-called white man's bondage, specifically. Right? Because who, who's, who's, whose philosophy plays over the airwaves? Whose philosophy is, uh, uh, is on the news, in the movies? It's the so-called white man. You'll see, see the so-called Chinese man pushing legislation, right? You see, this, it's the so-called white man. All right, that's another thing. All you guys are saying that the so-called white man is the devil man, you're going to die. Point blank, period, man. We don't have time. We don't have time for the bullshit. Point blank, all right? Excuse my language. It says... And if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity and thy darkness be as the noonday. Woo! That's beautiful, man. Satisfy the afflicted soul. Right? By bringing out the words he had by Shemia Shah, that's satisfying the afflicted soul. You got afflicted souls out here. You got drug addicts. You got what else? You got all you got all sorts of addictions, man. This is the only addiction that you should be feeding. Okay? You can never get enough of this word, man. You can never get enough of y'all by Shmi Shah. And he shows you that by continually by continually, Salakia, putting the spirit on you to learn and to teach and to grow, man. Alright, it says. And the Lord shall guide thee continually. So yeah, how's he gonna do that? He's gonna set up men. He's gonna set up men to teach you. Continually. That's how we know that the elder apostles of the great millstone are all in the middle of the Lord today. They have continually gone out, you know, week in and week out, prophesying the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom. Babylon the Great, aka America, man. No matter what. Alright, it says. And satisfy thy soul in drought. And why why is it in drought? Because this place is a fucking desert. This is desert. This spiritually this place is a desert. So what is the Lord giving you? He's giving you, he's giving first off, he's giving you the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Right? What does it say in the scriptures? Okay? That your belly shall uh, uh, um, your belly shall uh, 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 spring forth. Uh, 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 springs of living water, roughly paraphrasing. I know it's not springs, fountains of living water. You know, so the Lord is set. The Lord is setting us up to have understanding and having it continuously, man. It's like a well that never runs dry. Okay, so it says, and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden. And like a spring of water whose waters fail not. So once again, all right, an everlasting, flowing, continuous uh, source of water. If you had a water bottle 
that could never run out, you would carry that water bottle everywhere you go. Why wouldn't you? You wouldn't just have it at the house. Yeah, this is my antique bottle of water that never runs out. You would just you, you wouldn't let that collect dust at the house, man. Well you you be out you be out showing people, hey look, hey look, this 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 is my continuously flowing bottle of water. Here have some. I got enough. I can get some more. Right? That's how we should feel about this word, man. There's an abundance of this word. There's an abundance of uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So you can never be out here too uh, uh, too long, quote unquote. You can never say too much. You can never, you know, do too much when it comes to serving Yahweh man. Your your spirit shouldn't be like, oh, I'm, I'm doing too much. Nah, man, you should have the spirit of I'm not doing enough. You have to have that spirit, that continuous spirit of striving, man. Striving to move forward. Okay? Spirit. All right, it says. It's like it. And, and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations. Yes, yeah, so this word, right, is a foundation through your how about Shimei Anishai, in which we have built ourselves upon this foundation. What's that solid foundation? Yahweh Shai, man. He is that rock. He is that foundation that we've built, that we've uh, built ourselves upon, man. You know? It says, it says and thou, sh uh, so like and thou shalt be called the repair of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. So this is a work. We have to clear out the path for the people to walk on, man. Hey, who cleared out the path for us? Our elder apostles, our, 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 our brothers, man. You know? These different elders. These men have, have paved the way, man, for decades. And have showed us, okay, this is the way that you that, that you should go, man. You know? This is the way walking in it. Like the scriptures say. We see the path to walk down, man. We know that this is the path to walk down. So now what do we do? We have to walk down this path, man. Continue to walk down the path, man. Okay? And it says... If thou, Salakia, if thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord honorable, it shall honor him, not doing thine own ways or finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words. Yeah, man. So you want to do all these different things, especially on the Sabbath, man. Whatever, this, whatever the Sabbath is, Jake want to do the most on that day. Jake want to do the most during Passover. Passover is supposed to be a solemn assembly. Yeah, what did Jake want to do? Jake want to turn up. Jake want to have strippers, man. Uh, like, 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 um, like Sakari. It's not the time that we in, man. It's not a time of mirth. Right? And, and gladness. This is a time of sorrow. Right? And we rejoice in you. How about Shemiah and Shai? We're sorrowful. See the condition of our people. Our people are in the lowest state. Our people are partying. They have no money in the bank account, man. You out here, you out here, here it is. Rent due. You out here having the time of your life, man. Not having a care in the world, because guess what? You know that, that Big Daddy E is going to help you. Well, guess what? We in the time in which E is not going to uh, uh, have the spirit on him. This is what we got to deal with out here, man. Alright, and it says... Hey, and, and isn't that the spirit, you know? We got a lot of these rappers, man. All they rap about is doing what they want to do. They don't really rap about shit else. That gets old, man. You don't want to hear a rapper speak about the same shit. 
you know, for years and years, man. You got some rappers, they've been speaking about the same shit for years, man. They should be, and it should be getting old. And it's not old to people, they love it. Why? Because they love being here. They love being stuck here, man. All right, so guess what? The Lord's going to leave you. He's going to leave you here. He's going to leave you stuck here, and then your ass is going to die. Go blank. It says, This shall thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. So the mouth of the Lord has spoken this, man. You can't stop this. Can't stop this word, niggas. How you, how you niggas gonna stop the creator of the universe? You got your damn mind, man. And that's why you, like, loud mouth niggas, you gonna die. That's it. That's it. All you, all you, loud mouth, and, and you broke. You broke. You hear it is? You got elites spending billions of dollars to keep you suppressed, and you spend your last five. You spend your last five dollars to be oppressed, man. And it don't make sense being in this in this uh, um, being in this in this society, man. And that's why the <laughs> that's why the Lord is making it make sense to us, man. He's making it make sense to us by showing us that this place doesn't make sense. This place is confusion. This place is Babylon the Great. That great that great confusing city, man. The most confusing place in human history. All right, it says. Behold, Isaiah 9 and 1, Behold, the, the Lord's hand is not short, and it cannot save, neither, neither is ear heavy that it cannot hear. So the Lord, right, all right, if you are a child of Israel, he's going to hear your prayer. Now, two-thirds of Israel, you're going to sit there, you're going to pray, you're going to do these other things, right? The Lord is going to give you knowledge, wisdom, understanding. He's gonna give you strong delusion, all right? To the point where now, to the point where now you want to call, you want to call us out, all right? Why are we, why are we out here standing on, standing on the street corner, screaming? Hey, you, you niggas, you niggas are the loudest people on the planet, man. First off, first off, you two thirds of Israel, you the loud, you the loudest motherfucking people on the planet. You go to the store, you scream, you, you on, you on the, the speakerphone, you're screaming. Pat, pat in the back of your head, weed falling out, you know? That's you niggas, man. The Lord's gonna kill you niggas, man. And we can't wait for that, man. We hey, we can't wait for y'all to start dropping dead like flies out here. We gonna say, Barack Athea, how about Shimei Al Shai? This has been prophesied. This ain't something that we made up. This is something that has already happened through the spirit. All right, these the people that are dead, they're already dead. They just haven't died yet, you know? And it says, Too. But your iniquities have separated between you and your power, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. So it's because of us sinning, us turning our back on the Heavenly Father. So what did he do for a certain amount of time? He turned his back on us, man. You know, like, okay, how, how did you like that? All right, now I'm going to work with some of you. The ones that repent, the ones that turn back. All right, repent means to turn back. Turn back from what? Wickedness. What is this place? What is this place based off of? It's based off of wickedness. How do people make their money? Wickedness. Wicked acts. Right? The continuation of wicked acts. The approval of wicked acts. Everything wicked. And that doesn't mean that because you have a job, you know, you're being wicked. Right? But it, I mean, but it depends on the job. If you're a porn director. You can't teach your scriptures. That just don't. That just don't, don't go together, man. Right? If you're if you're if you're a, a quote-unquote porn star, you can't you can't bring out the word. The Lord ain't gonna allow that, man. All right. So it says, "For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue." have muttered perverseness. Yeah, you mutter and you, 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 you mutter and mutts, man. And that's you niggas' MO. You love to, to mutter under your breath. 
Why would you say some shit like a man, man? That's the thing. Jake always want to mutter under his breath some, some shit. You know? Uh, on, on the hater tip, man. Why don't you, why don't you sound off? I said, you don't, you don't have a voice, man. You don't have a voice to sound off, man. So all you, all you, t all you tough, rowdy niggas, when, when things get serious, when push comes to shove, you don't have nothing to say. You're not doing nothing, especially in these times, man. These times that we coming in, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be bad out here. It's gonna be bad out here. The spirit, we're not gonna be out here too much longer, man. All right, you different brothers, right, and, and the elder brothers that have been out here for, for years, man, pushing this truth. It's a reward for that, man. Right? It's a reward for those that diligently seek Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay, and it's destruction for the rest. What's more important, salvation or destruction? We, if we, if you seek salvation and you get salvation, destruction cannot touch you. You know, that's why it says in the scriptures it speaks about an incorruptible crown. This crown can't be corrupted. Okay, the individual. Right? Who's gonna have the crown put on his head? He can be corrupted, man. So we have to pray to Yahweh Shemel Shai not to corrupt us, man. Not to give us a spirit of fear. To give us that spirit, to, you know, to be out on the highways and highways. Follow the law sections of commandments of Yahweh Shemel Shai. You know, to take our notes, watch our videos, look at our elder apostles, look at our look at our uh, uh, elder brothers. You know? Hey, hey, and see what? See the truth. See the truth that is the Alba Shia Shai. Right? It says, none call it for justice, nor any pleaded for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies, they conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. That's two thirds of Israel out here. Y'all don't know, y'all don't know shit. Y'all know how to clean an AK though. Which Jake don't know how to clean an AK. Jake don't know how to clean an AK. Jake, Jake don't know shit. Jake knows how to be wicked. That's it. That's all Jake knows how to do, man. All right? It says, They hatch cockchises' eggs and weave the spider's web. He that eateth of their eggs dieth, and that which is crushed breaketh out into a viper. Yes, you people are snakes. Two-thirds of Israel are snakes. You're vipers. You're venomous, man. Right, and that's why the spirit is on us not to be around you damn people. All right, when I'm at when I'm at work, I want to be as far away from you damn people as humanly possible, man. Because you're vipers, you're snakes. Well, you want to come up, charming? We're not hearing that shit, man. We telling you what you are. You're not here to tell us what we are, man. We are here to judge. We, hey, man, hey, we're doing what it takes to be judges, man. All right, to be a judge as far as in the world, you got to go to years of school. Many recommendations, many approvals. A lot of those um, judges are also doctors, man. You know, so that's a hard work. Okay, so in order for us to be judges in a spiritual sense, we have to continue a hard work, man. You know? It says, The webs shall not become garments. Neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Yes, you naked out here. You want to cover yourself with your 401k? Right? Your, your, your college fund for your kids? It's not going to cover anything. Here it is. You think by creating a college fund, your kid's going to go to college and protect you in your old age. No, they're going to go. They're going to get addicted to drugs. <laughs> you know? You know, the women, you know, oh man, don't even get me started. They're going to be bopping around to any anybody that gives them the, the, the eye, all right? That's what's going to happen. Then they're going to come back, and they're going to talk shit and be in debt. That's what's going to happen. And that's what's set up, man. Hey, this, this system is set up. So before you, you, before you talk bad about us for calling out the system, look at the system. Look at what's in place for you people, man. That's why you don't have nothing. You got leased, you got leased vehicles. Mortgaged houses, you have you have nothing. This ultimately you live in a in a, in a quote unquote communist society. Nigga, you don't have anything. Everything you own is not yours, man. All 
right? And you're happy about it. What do they say uh, uh, during the Great Reset? You're going to own nothing and you're going to be happy. That's you people, man. You're going to love it. You're going to love not owning anything, not having any responsibility. That's you people. You people are like, like sonic children. You don't want responsibility, man. All right, and it reads. Their works are works of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hands. Their feet run to evil, and they shall slacken. And they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Wasting and destruction are in their path. So you're going to waste away, and you're going to die. You're going to get destroyed, man. That's most of the people here in America. You're going to die. It is what it is, man. So if you have Israel, take heed or perish. Either way, we got to be out here preaching preaching the word anyways, man. If every person that passed by said, I'm going to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments, and Yahweh, Hashem, Hashem, it's still going to be two-thirds out there. Even if everybody says they're going to serve the Lord, man. Got a lot of guys, y'all. I'll be back next week. You don't see them. You'll ever see them again, right? But why? Because for the most part, the Lord did something to him, man. All right, so it reads. The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. Yes, yeah, so what do you say? Well, I don't judge. We shouldn't judge. Right? Love thy, love thy neighbor. All, all that shit. It's like it. Let me get some of this water, man. And you say all these things, yet... Right? When you hear uh, uh, when you hear the ju judgment for the children of Israel, you want to bug out. You want to act like what we're saying is false, man. It's just not true. That's why the, that's why the Lord is going to be destroying people out here. heavy judgment coming for you people, man. Right? Through the spirit. When you're saying it. And it's heavy judgments on us. So what more of these average, quote unquote, average, everyday, regular Joes, man? The Lord is causing us to go through all such a things. Of course he's going to make, he's going to make uh, uh, people that are not of the elect go through certain things. That's why we, we hope. That's why we are the hopeful elect. We hope that we are the elect. We don't know. Right? But at least put yourself in the position to want to be the hopeful elect. You know, because there's no re it's no reason to die if you don't have to. It just don't make no sense. All right. Anyway, it says. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. You don't know peace. You want to speak about peace and love and mercy? There's no peace and love and mercy with the so-called white man, the modern day, the modern day church, Christianism. Where's the peace in that? Where's the joy in that? All right, an ever, an ever burning hell. Where's the mercy in that, man? That's how you know it's false. All right? Yet, e you dead, you dead devils. You gonna be burning, man? And we, and we look forward to that. That's not, that's not something we, you know. See, I don't know if the camera picked that up. There's some guy, man, he'd rather, some homeless dude, he'd rather cross right here and walk past. Judgment is still coming to you, nigga. That's it. It's not you can see, you can try, you can try to avoid the Heavenly Father. It's not gonna happen. You can avoid us all day long. You're not gonna, you're not gonna avoid the message that, that we've come to teach, man. Right? This message is not for this message is not for the world. It's not for the whole world. Man. You're not supposed to get it. Only only a remnant is supposed to get this word. Alright, and it says
Therefore is judgment far from us, neither doth justice overtake us. We wait for light, but behold, obscurity, for brightness, and we walk in darkness. We grope for the wall like the blind, and we grope as if we had no eyes. We stumble at noon noonday as in the night. We are in desolate places as dead men. So we are alive in a, in a dead place. This is a real dead zone, man. Right? It's, dead. It's, filled, it's filled with dead ass people. You know? This is a, de this is a quote unquote dead zone. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you see these people passing by. These people are dead. They're done. They're toast. They're through. And that's the point of us being out here to say, okay, two thirds of Israel, you're going to die. All right? The 144,000 and the one third of Israel are going to live. The other nations don't matter. All right? And that's. that's that's it. That's it. And the Heavenly Father, through His Son, is going to come back here, right, to earth. He's going to enslave you other nations, man. It's going to be a beautiful time. All right, anyways, it says, We roar all like bears and mourn sore like doves. We look for judgment, but there is none for salvation, but it is far from us. Our transgressions are multiplied before thee, and our sins testify against us. For our transgressions are with us, and as for our iniquities, we know them. Yeah, so you you know what you're doing. See, that's you people, though. You, you're going to walk past. It, it don't matter to us. We, we are here right now preaching. Eventually, we gonna be at the house. <laughs> you not you, you ain't hurt you ain't hurt my feelings, all right? Hey, that's the spirit. There's a big ass roach that just crawled past, man. That's a representation of you wicked. And what is the Lord gonna do? The Lord's gonna stop you niggas out like a bug. Like when you in the kitchen and you see a big ass bug, you you not just gonna let the bug chill. You gonna you gonna stop that damn bug, man. Especially a roach, all right? Alright, like you see a rat. Uh, when I look at a rat, it reminds me of you gutter rats. 19, you, 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 you 48ers, man. It looks like rats. Like, like old mousy. You know? Fucci, that's what I'm gonna call it. Fucci. Say it, put, put, two, put two masks on. Put ten masks on. You put two masks on, you might as well put ten masks on. You know? Fucci, man. Fucci the, Fucci the rat. That's what I'm going to call him, man. And all you guys listening to Fucci, are you going to get exactly what you deserve, man? All right? You're going to take that juice, and then guess what? Guess what? All right? That pestilence is going to run loose. Hey, say, man. Now, all they got to do is do a handful of things, and you're going to be walking around... Through. You already through. You twitching. You got neurological issues. Right? All from what? The hokey pokey. Right? And you turn yourself around. And hey, that's what it's all about. Okay? You're basically doing a dance. You're dancing with the devil. What is it that? Hey, man, before you dance with a woman, what do you do? You offer her a drink. Right? Then you come up to her, hey, you know, what, what you want to drink? You know? Or well, you might get the drink for her here. You know, here's a drink. You know? Now, if she puts her trust in you, she's going to drink that drink. But if she doesn't trust you, she's not going to drink the drink because she don't know what's in that. That's us. We First off, first off, we're waiting for our husband. Thank you very much to the spirit. You know, so no thank you. No thank you. Take that cup and dump it out. So we not we not even worried about that, man. But they're continuing to ask, hey, do you want the juice? Do you want the juice? You know? Do you do you want that poke? You know? Do you want that do you want that mini sword, man? And the answer is still no, man. Up until our last breath, no. We, we refuse to take the juice. And we refuse to take the MOTB. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, 
uh, uh, mark, uh, uh, mark of the uh, mark of the uh, uh, the bee, the mark of the bee, the mark of the beehive. Anyways, it says, and that's the spirit, man. That's the spirit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to that. Revelation chapter 13 and verse I'm actually going to start off at 12 and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed which that, that wound being healed was when Rome came back into power All right, because this, this place ultimately is Rome all over again. This is a revitalized Rome. All right, it says, and he doeth great wonders. Hey, and how you know that, Salakia? But when you're in school, you learn about what? You learn about uh, Rome. You learn about Greece. All right, and that's what you learn. And that's what I learned in school. You learn about the Romans, the Greeks, okay? All right, and it says, And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men through your different weapons, your different schemes. Right? You got your, you got all sorts, you got all sorts of weapons. Hey, that's your blessing. Alright? He says, And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. So this is something that's been propped up. This image. Alright? And this image is in the imagination of you people. You continue to press forth this image, man. You continue to prop up this image. This is your favorite thing to do. God bless America. But think about all the wickedness that this place has produced, man. You want to talk about the, the Lord is going to bless this place? No, the Lord is going to condemn this damn place. The Lord is going to destroy this damn place. Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. No matter how many of you oppose, it's going to happen. You want to gather yourselves together. That's the nerve of Eve. You want to gather all the nations together to make war with the Heavenly Father's angels. You got your damn mind. All right, it says, And he had power to give life into the image of the beast, the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So eventually they're going to have these different groups, like the EU, like NATO, so on and so forth, to push that agenda, right? To worship this image or be put to death, right? And part of worshiping the image is by taking that mark, man. All right? That's the most important part about this chapter, okay? speaking about that. It says verse 16 and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead which is the mark of the beast. Point blank. We're not, we're not fucking arguing about it. You, you take it, you're going to die. Point blank period, man. We, know we, are, we are no longer here to argue. Either accept that the chip is the mark of the beast or take it. Take it and perish, man. It don't, ma it don't matter, ultimately. We're here to preach a message and move on, man. All right, it says. All right, just think about it. It's got me hot. Jake talking shit. All right, anyways. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, which is the RFID microchip. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's not a white woman, it's not a cell phone. The mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. And it's coming soon. They're gonna collapse the economy, it's coming soon. The dollars, the dollars that you currently have in your account aren't even physical. There is no physical. When you get paid from your job, you get a direct deposit. Uh, is that physical dollars? No, it's dollars on the computer. So they've already dig digitized the money. Now, now it's just time for them to put the chip in. All right, that's it, okay? And then speaking about that, all right, it says, And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here's wisdom.
Listen, let him that understand, uh, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 600, three score, and six. So a score is 20. So that's 660 and six. That's why when you look up these different patents, that's the chip. All right, and uh, uh, what's his name? Bill Gates of hell, right? You got uh, 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 Elon, Elon Musk, Elon Musty. They're trying to hit you with that chip. And, and most of you people are going to take it. It is what it is. And then you're going to get destroyed. All right? It, it is what it is. We're not going to sit We're not gonna sit here and argue this. we just here to, hey, we're saying what the Lord said to say. And, and, and that's what it is. That's what it is. You don't, you don't like it? Take your ass off the street. If you don't like it, cut the video off. There's plenty of other things to look at. So to sit and to criticize us, bringing out, bringing out the facts, you looking stupid, man. All right? It says... So, so from this, this is a jumping forward. Chapter 14 really is like a, it's like a, a, a jumping forward. It says, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 140 and 4,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Right? What's the name of the Heavenly Father? Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. Okay? It says, And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps, they sung as it were a new song before the throne, before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand, which were redeemed from the earth. So these are men that are on the earth. There are certain men of the 144,000 that are in the spirit world. And you have certain men that are here on the earth, man. Along with the one-thirds, along with the two-thirds, man. Alright? It says... These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. So we're not defiled with these different philosophies. And there's a lot of philosophies out here to follow, man. So it's really a blessing that we came into what we came into. All right? It says, These are they which follow the Lamb with the sword he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the Lamb. So the first spirits that were created are the 144,000. All right? Which show spirits and body those spirits are the spirits of Israelites. All right, 144,000 Israelites being the governing body of the of the heavenly Father, man, in the kingdom of heaven. These are gonna these are gonna be your your top men in the kingdom of heaven. The 144,000, and you are gonna know the 144,000 from everybody else, man. Now we say, hey, we Lord's will, we're of that number. You know what I mean? Hey, but even if we're not, we know that there is going to be 144,000, a one-thirds, and a two-thirds, man. That that's the case, okay? So let's go back. couch it's horrible man you really you were supposed to be ruling over us still yet you let that slip away how did you how did you let that happen how did you put a whole group of people in captivity and then, and then fail you know the heavenly father allowed that to happen right anyways Isaiah chapter 58, no, 59, Salah. And, uh, and I'll go back to 11 and, and put 
push you in. We roar all like bears and mourn sore like doves. We look for judgment, but there is none. For salvation, but it is far from us. For our transgressions are multiplied before thee, and our sins testify against us. Yes, how, how are we supposed to be perfect right now? We got all these sins, man. We're in this flesh. Yet the Lord, right, sees us as perfect. You know, the, the elect. The Lord's will, I'm of that number. The Lord's will, you sincere brothers are of that number, man. That's why it talks about in the scriptures how the people will be at fault with you. Yet Yahweh Bashim Yahshai isn't going to be at fault with you, man. He knows, okay, they're going to go off. They're going to go off sometimes. Yet they're constantly seeking me. They're constantly repenting. They're constantly standing in the scriptures. You know, they're not falling off. You know, they're fight. They're fighting to know me, man. That's what the Lord wants. The Lord wants you to fight to know Him and to know His Son. You know, He says, "See, because you can't get to the Heavenly Father without His Son. It's impossible." All right, it says, verse 13, and transgressing and lying against the Lord and departing away from our power, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood, all sorts of falsehood, all sorts of falsehood. I mean, it. It never ends, man. It never ends with the children of Israel. And who did you learn that from? You learned that from the so-called white man. You learned that from the so-called white man, a.k.a. the devil. Right? He is the devil. He's the devil that the Bible speaks of. Man. Hey, hey, and the, the Lord is going to show you. The Lord is going to show you this damn devil, man. He's going to put a spirit on E to really get loud and, and, and dirty with you. Right? It says, and judgment is turned away backward, and justice standeth far off. For truth is fallen in the street, and equity cannot enter. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. So, yeah, we make ourselves a prey by departing from evil. We want to get away from these wicked ass people, man. Yet, that's part of it. That's part of that's part of the captivity. Here preaching amongst these damn people. Man, you don't want to be around these people. These people are crazy. A lot of these people are schizophrenics. A lot of these people got, you know, uh, 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 what do you call that? You know, hyper depression. You know, they're psychotic. They've taken all sorts of, you know, different medicine. You know, they, they take it 10 different prescriptions. A lot of these people out here are, are fucking psycho. All right, especially you women. You, hey, man, most of you women deserve to, all of you women, all you women deserve to be in the damn cycle. All right, all of you, man. It's going to take the Lord coming back to get y'all right, just like us. It's going to take the Lord coming back to have us be perfect, man. Yet, what are we going to do? We're going to seek righteousness. All right? The Lord gave uh, uh, these women of Israel the opportunity to be righteous by being up under their man. Yet, they fucked that up for the most part. Right? That's that I don't need a man culture. Who taught you that, so-called white man? Oh, you can be independent. All you got to do is trust in me. I got programs. I got different things that you can do. I can show you how to get money. You don't need a man. Now, look, you go to you go anywhere, and you got, you got a mom. You got four daughters. One little son. You know what I mean? A destroyed household. That's what you call that. Cause let's say an intruder comes to the house. Who, who's protecting the house? Man, there ain't na there ain't near man up in there, man. You got a little five year old boy, you know, pu punching the intruder. But you got a video, a video out there. You know, where I believe it was Issachar. It was a little Issacharite boy. He had to be maybe about six or seven, and some robbers came into the house and robbed him and his grandma. So you know, so he got you know a little Jake. Look, you know, spirit hopped on them and start, you know, punching the robbers, and none of none of the punches were hurting, man. They, they were pushing them. Get off me, little nigga. You know. Now the Lord could have put the spirit on one of those robbers to shoot him, man. All right. Hey, that would have been justified. Why? Because it's the heavenly Father. We don't know who that. We don't know who that boy is, man. You could 
done with this in his past life that he's paying for it now. You know? And we paying for transgressions that we did in the past now by bringing this word out. You know? Because, but hey, really, us bringing this word out on the highways and byways, it is a form of the punishment. Right? Because we were, we were supposed to be good. Right? We were supposed, hey, man, we were supposed to be all right. Yet, right, what happened? transgressed. Now we're to the point where, where now we have we have to call for our people to repent. Hey, and we have to repent also. You know? Alright, so it says uh, Isaiah chapter 59 and verse Verse 16, he saw that there was no man and wondered <clears throat> that there was no intercessor. Intercessor. Therefore his arm brought salvation unto him, and his righteousness is sustained him. So the Lord, hey man, the Lord sent his son down here, man. Uh, uh, to show us the way. Show us the way that we're supposed to go. Show us how to be men. And who's us? All right, the elect of Israel. And right now we're just we're just the hopeful elect. All right, it says, "For he put on righteousness as a breast socket, as a breastplate, and a helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garment of vengeance for clothing, was clad with zeal as a cloak." All right, so when you see these people, right, it talks about a, it talks about them not having a garment. Yeah, what does it say right here? It talks about zeal as a cloak. What do these people have zeal for? Death? When you die, what, what happens? Your clothes, even if you got clothes on, they start to dissipate you know, into thin air. After, you know, after a while, the worms start eating through your clothes, you know. You dig up some of these guys in, the, in that fresh ass suit. They got on new J's. You go up into, you go up into that casket, you know, a year later, it's, it's all destroyed. It's all destroyed. Because your clothes, you can't take your clothes to the kingdom. Can't take your money to the kingdom. The only thing that's going with you to the heavenly Father, right, in in, in, in His realm, right, the spirit world, is is your soul. Everything else getting left here, your body, you know, your children. You can't take your children with you, you know. So ultimately, that's the most precious thing is your soul. That's the only thing that you can take up out of here, man. All right? It says, "Hey, Brett, how about Shemuel Shaw?" Right, it says, according to their deeds, accordingly he will repay fury to his adversaries. Yes, so his adversaries, which includes the so-called white man, all you other nations, two-thirds of Israel, you're going to get his fury. One-third of Israel is going to get the mercy. All these people ain't getting, that, hey man, all these people ain't getting mercy. That ain't happening. Hey, this is not happening. All right, yeah, what do you want to say? Oh, the Lord is for everybody. If the Lord is for everybody, why you got homeless people out here? Why you got all these different things happening, man? That's how you know that, um, it's like it. Christianism is bullshit, all right? The modern day church is bullshit. It's not teaching you nothing. Really, it's, it's digging you a deeper and deeper hole to where you can't see. You in a deep, you in a deeper and deeper ditch, all right? All right, the blind leaded the blind, and both shall fall into a ditch. You fell into a ditch. Now you want us in the ditch. The Lord's will that don't happen. Man. All right, anyways, it says, all right, recompense to his enemies. So does that sound like the Lord is coming to have a, a good time? No. It's not going to happen, man. All right, it says, to the islands he will repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. And the enemy shall come in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. And that's the angels, man. That's why we, we don't physically have to do nothing. Hey, let the angels do it. Let the angels do it, man. We don't have to worry about nobody doing nothing. Let, let the angels handle it, man. All right? It says, see, in a, in a standard. See, we have, we have standards, man. We have standards against you, uh, you women. Okay? 
Alright, you people, we have set up a standard. This is what you should go by. If you don't go by it, you're gonna perish. It is what it is, man. We have to go by this standard. If we don't go by this standard, we're fucking through. The Lord is gonna kill us. But that's not something that we want. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna seek the heavenly father. Alright? We're gonna keep it moving, man. Alright? And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee, my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, saith the Lord, from henceforth and forever. So we got set up. We are the, we are the children of the Most High. So I, obviously, we have been set up with the right. What does it say in Romans? That we have the covenant, right? What is that? To do the duty of the Lord. That's why you don't see you don't see Moab out here. You don't see Ishmael out here. You see the children of Yahweh Shemi Al Shai, man. All right. Which you would consider, um, you got uh, uh, Negroes, West Indians, uh, Haitians. You have people who look like so-called white people that are actually the children of the Lord. All right, man. And these these people have been set up since the beginning of time to do their thing, man. To prophesy. We are, we are here prophesying, man. We have to prophesy, man. We have to continue to prophesy. Alright, we've been we've been set up to prophesy. Prophesy. Speak. Right? What did I say? What did, what, what did I say at the beginning of Isaiah, of, of Isaiah 58? Alright, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Cry aloud, spare it not, man. Yeah, we can't spare these people's feelings. Alright, because these, these people are set, these people are set up. To perish, two thirds of Israel is set up to perish. So we have to call out to the two thirds of uh, it's like it. We have to call out to the one thirds of Israel. Okay. Hey, they're they hundred forty-four thousand, right? They they got to be woken up, All right? Now, now, and what's what's far out about the heavenly Father is that he can take a guy who's the two thirds. And wake up a guy who's a part of the elect, and then destroy both of them, and have one be the elect and one not be the elect. Man, that see that's the power of the heavenly Father. He's able to do those things, man. He's able to raise up. He's able to raise up one person, bring another person to a lower state, and take a person from a lower state, bring them up to a higher state. That's why the scripture said that the first shall be last, and the last shall be the first. We're last. Jake is last. Jake is last in everything. Yet we're the first. Are we not the first? Are we not the first in, 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 in music, medicine? I mean, you name it and Jake has overtaken it, man. Okay, golf. Even golf. Even hockey. All those high-level NHL players are Jake's, man. Like you had, um, I can't remember his name, uh, uh, Gretzky, Wayne Gretzky. He used to play for the LA Kings. That was, that, that's a Jake. That's a Jake right there. Gretzky, Gretzky was, he was nice on the ice, man. I never really, you know, watch hockey like that. I watch it once in a while, you know. That's a reoccurring thing. And you got these different guys. You got these different guys who are like uh, so-called white people and they're actually the children of Israel, man. So this is not a color thing, man. This is, this is based upon the spirit. All right, but anyways. Uh, Isaiah chapter 16 verse 1 Arise, shine, for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Alright, so arise, shine. When the sun, when, when you when you sleeping and the sun it goes through your window and it shines on your face, really that wakes you up. Right? It, get, it gets it gets hotter. You know, it gets hotter. Right, the light is shining through your eyelids. You can't sleep no more. Like me, I have to be extremely tired for the sun to shine forth and shine on me, and I don't wake up. It's just the spirit. Even if I get, you know, 
three hours of sleep, there is a time in which I'm just going to wake up when the, sun, when the sun hits me. And you know, you may lay back down or whatever the case is, but initially, you know, you're going to, boom, you're going to wake up. Because I, I, uh, I work really early in the morning. You know? So, you know, by, by the time I'm at work, you know, uh, by the time I'm at work, the sun isn't uh, uh, even out, man. Right? But you give it a little bit of time, and then you can start to see the sun. You know? Because when, you, you know, when you're up at 5 o'clock in the morning, you know, when you're up at 4.30 in the morning, you know, it seems like it's nighttime. But it's actually, it really, it's about to be the day. Salakia. Judgment going out tonight, man. Hey, it's, ju it's judgment going. It's judgment going out tonight. Man. You don't know who's in that ambulance. You don't know who he's going to get, man. Okay, that could be me. That could be you, man. In that ambulance, with a guy hovering over you, giving you heart compressions, man. You know, we could be dead, man. You gotta really consider that. We, can, we the Lord could put us to death at any moment. You know. Hey man, hey man, the, hey, the Lord delivered me yesterday. Yesterday, man. Lord, you know, you could be about to, you could be about to uh, 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 get, you know, pulled over. You could be about to, you know, get your ass beat by 12. You could be about to, you know, have all these different things happen and the Lord put the spirit on them to be cool with you. Because that is a risk. Every time you step outside your house, you run a risk of being killed, man. Not only by your own people, but all, hey man, well, mostly by your own people, two thirds of Israel. But you got the other nations, and you got E out here too. You got 18 nations out here, run, running rampant. You really got to consider that, man. When you play a game like Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto is based upon real life. Real life ain't based upon Grand Theft Auto. You'll, you'll, you'll find crazier shit happens uh, in real life than in Grand Theft Auto, man. You know? Anyways, it says... It's locking. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness to people. So most of these people are covered in darkness. It is what it is. That's what we're here for. All right, all right give you, you know, give you, give you some pointers. Okay, this means this, that means that. You know, you get into your own studies. Okay, you pray to Yahweh Shemiah Shai. You got the teacher set up, and then eventually, right, the Lord, what? The Lord starts to, to work with you. He starts to deal with you. He starts to see that you're taking this thing serious. The more serious that you take this thing, the more the Heavenly Father is going.